And friend, true Christianity is not a difficult. I didn't say difficult, though I did. Defy cult. The way of a transgressor is hard, Proverbs 13, 15. 2 Timothy 2, 3 and 4 says, Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Be not entangled with the affairs of this life that you might please him that's called you to be a soldier. Somebody say, we're in the Lord's army. Christianity ain't just a family, it's an army. Somebody say, so you better be ready to fight. Because the enemy of Christianity, amen, is Satan, the world, and sin, the flesh, anything to do that's contrary to what is of God. Amen. Some ought to say the fight begins when I surrender at the cross. But some ought to say the fight's always won as I surrender at the cross. They're not my battles. Even though I fight, the battles have been won at the cross. Amen. But I want you to see this. The way of a transgressor is hard, Proverbs 13, 15. When people walk around and all they ever do is acknowledge it is hard to serve God. Well, my Bible, I done quoted it in 2 Timothy 2, verses 3 and 4. God says you endure hardness. If you're a good soldier, good soldiers don't run. They run into the battle. They don't run from it. They run in. Um, so if it's hard, it's because you're running in the opposite direction. The captain has said charge and you have discharged. You've went AWOL. You're absent without leave. You didn't get permission. You went the opposite direction. Amen. Somebody say that's when it gets hard because the way of a transgressor, the one that breaks the command of the commander, goes the opposite direction, then it gets hard. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, yes, it gets hard, but it ain't too hard. The reason it becomes too hard is because people who say it's too hard to follow God are not following him. They're going in the opposite direction. They're disobeying his charge. You don't believe God says charge. He, he, even in 2 Timothy 4 verses 1, Paul said to a young pastor, Timothy, he told him, he said, I charge you this day. Somebody say, charge! <laughs> Hallelujah. My name ain't old Timothy Sam. <laughs> Hallelujah. Charge. Amen. Praise God. Charged. I, I made me a flyer a couple years ago when YouTube terminated our church off of socialist media. Praise God. And and I put my picture out there and I put that word but Second Timothy four verses one. I put across there in big letters, charged. I am guilty from obeying the charge. Charge me and it's correctly. I am guilty for preaching the absolute naked truth and charge me again because I'm gonna keep charged forward contending for the faith amen Jude verses 3 charge a lot of folks are not charging they're not they're not going forward and they're saying it's too hard to go to church too hard to serve God too hard just too hard too hard when you hear them say that you're listening to a transgressor they've did something against the will of the one who's in charge Hello? They're not going in the direction he said to go. Now, when he said, follow me, he didn't say it'd be easy. He said, but you'll have power that's enabling you to endure the hardness. Why? Because you're a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, if it's too hard, you're in a difficult. Capitalize the I in the middle of difficult. I. You live in too much for you. And that's a cult. It's difficult. Oh, ain't that amazing? The word cult's on difficult. Oh, it's difficult. No, no, no. Take my yoke. Surrender to me. Be my prisoner. Let me be your master, your Lord. Amen. And when you take my yoke upon you, you'll find out my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. It never becomes easy to endure until you've surrendered to him as your master. You're at deny. When he gets all of you, some ought to say this is the gospel, and it's a part of the gospel that a lot of times is, you know, hidden. It's, it's, it's not spoke this way. But some ought to say it's not too hard to serve God. Some ought to say it's not too difficult to follow Jesus. But say with me, it is difficult.
to half-heartedly follow Jesus. Not only half-heartedly, amen, it is hard to follow Jesus 99.99%. It only becomes easy to endure because you have no other option but endure at that point when he's got all of you 100%. What else is there to do? There's no turning back. No turning back. There's no back to go to. There's only forward. That's the only direction. Amen. Somebody say, God, through the prophet Samuel, anointed David that day forward. 1 Samuel 16, 13.